Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to another Creative Solutions from the chapter Workforce, uh, Work Power and Energy. As you see, the STEM is about an object with a mass of 250 gram is thrown vertically upward. So this is the point, the vertically upward at 49 meter per second velocity. So something is actually thrown vertically upward. So think about the scenario. So think about the, the object which is actually the mass is 250 gram. So we need to convert it into kilogram. So this would be 0 0.2. 25 kilograms so this is the mass and it was thrown this is u which is 49 meter per second so we can imagine that something is thrown at at that point of time it will reach to its highest uh, height so only this steam is about something thrown vertically upwards with a velocity and it has a specific mass so let's see the first question as it is a creative solutions it has four set of question so first question is what is kinetic energy so we can say that the energy to work that an object receives due to being in motion is called kinetic energy and we know that the kinetic energy formula is ek is about half m v square we know it so this is the answer of a and now b question is something uh, interesting when we throw an arrow by stretching the string of a bow how does the energy transformation take place so we can say that while pulling the string of a bow potential energy accumulates in the string due to the position change of the string then while shooting the arrow the potential energy of the string accumulates kinetic energy in the bow and that is why the potential energy changes to kinetic energy while shooting an arrow by pulling the string of a bow so i hope if this type of questions comes i hope you can answer it properly now think about question number c this is very common and easy those are just uh, completed this chapter i hope this is your practice and this is level one type of math so you see that how long will the body take to reach the maximum height in this thing i mean when you solve this type of question you must think one thing when it will reach to its maximum height then the final velocity should be zero meter per second this is very very important so how you can do it you know that the throwing velocity of the body is u is 49 meter per second and you know that the gravitational accelerations is 9.8 meter per second square and the velocity of the body at the maximum height so we know that velocity would be zero meter per second now you think that if the body takes time to reach t i mean we just let it that time is t and to reach the maximum velocity then we can use the principle is v equal u minus g t important g because here we know that this is a vertical distance so v equal u minus gt it's a throwing body principle i hope you know it so simply we need to find the t so v is actually zero so this is nothing so you can say that gt is actually u so simply t is actually u by g so if we just divide 49 by 9.8 we will have five second so we can say that how long so we, we, know, we know that this t is actually five second and last question is show that the total energy of the body this is important the total energy of a body before throwing it is equal to the total energy at the maximum height think about this one when it was thrown the height was actually zero so we can say that height before throwing the body is h is actually zero and the velocity in this time u 
is 49 meter per second so mass of the body is 0 0.25 kilogram so these three data we have now think about the potential energy before throwing the potential energy the before throwing is mg h so you know that h is zero so total ep would be zero and the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is ek it is actually half m v square now you think half m is 0 0.25 times v is 49 square so if you do the calculation i hope it would be like 300 point one two five joule so this is before before throwing the body so you can say that before throwing the body the total energy is actually the potential energy plus the kinetic energy as it is zero so ultimately the total energy would be three hundred point one two five joule and after from that when it was actually reached to its the high maximum height then think about it in this case from c we know that time required five second so when it was five second that we need to find the maximum height is actually reaches so the height is actually h equal to ut minus half gt square why because you know that this is the height that would be covered by this time. So u is actually 49 times 5 minus half 9.8 times 5 square. So you see the amount would be 122.5 meter. So this is the maximum height. So this is the height that it will cover after 5 seconds. So the potential energy after that is Ep is equal mgh. Now you think m is 0 0.25 times 9.8. Now this is 120.5 which is together uh, 300 300 point one two five joule and you see when it reaches its maximum height the velocity is zero so you can say that ek is half mv square so ultimately it would be zero so when it will reach to its maximum height the total energy e in this case ep plus ek is again same so 300 Point one two five joule so it was same in this case and also in this case so the total energy was 300.125 again in this case 300.125 so i hope you understand the very easy mathematics actually so we did understanding the total energy which is ep plus ek so we calculate before three and after three because we know that from the steam it took five seconds to reach that height and we know that for measuring ep i mean the potential energy we need to find the distance covered by the object and the distance is 122.5 meter so this is how we did the calculation and of course those are watching this tutorial i know you are doing it uh, very effectively and all if you face any trouble or if you feel like any any problem doing this sort of mathematics let me know in my facebook page and also you can put some comments in the comment section of the youtube i am ready to answer all of your questions so see you in the next tutorial i'm coming up another creative solutions from this chapter so take care stay well bye